This is Cheap Kairos, my completely free to play account that I am not allowed to spend any money on. My goal is to max out the account as fast as possible. Today is day 203, which is really crazy. It's the start of a brand new season. And this background is just fantastic. I love it. Now, this season brings a massive change to how I'm going to upgrade my brawlers. Up until now, I've taken all of my resources and I've hyper focused them into maxing out one brawler at a time, specifically so that I could compete in club league because this club shop is absolutely busted in in terms of resources. But in the last update, the rewards that we get from Club League is actually nerfed. It's been cut in half, all to bring us star drops, which is actually a great progression buff to this account overall. So I'm good with the Club League nerfs. However, it has a big impact on how I play the account every day because I have to get eight wins every single day. And let me tell you, when I got power seven brawlers at 500 trophies and I'm at 20,000 total trophies, meaning that I face off against max out players, I'm at a disadvantage. In fact, a power seven compared to a power 11, 11 brawler deals 20% less damage and has 20% less health. So I'm at like a 40% disadvantage and that sucks really bad, especially if I need to get eight wins every single day. So these max out eight brawlers right here, these are my competitive power league roster for a long time, most likely, because I need to start upgrading my other brawlers to power nine, one at a time, specifically the ones that I have quests with. So it's going to feel a little bit random and it looks like today it's Hank. So win eight battles with Hank. looks like I'm upgrading Hank. Now Hank got a couple of nerfs in the last update so he's not like the strongest but at least he'll have some more stats right here I'm not going to buy every single star power at least not one for every single brawler I'm only gonna buy the ones that I think are really important because 2,000 coins that's actually a lot oh also I got some gold from Hank that's awesome I also got some from Shelly some from Piper as well, and from Gus. Then I got some power points on Colt, some silver one power points from Griff, which is awesome, as well as on Carl. And then we have some credits from Pam, and this brings us really close to Grom. In fact, we should be able to get him. We'll grab this from the trophy road, and that should be the power points I need for Grom. That is fantastic. Grom is officially unlocked. That's our, that's our next epic brawler. Uh, I'm not even gonna look at the other ones. I'd rather have Grom than Frank, and you know. Um, for mythic brawler, this is a tough one. I've got lots of time to decide, but I'm going to select Sprout for right now. And we are now up to 42 out of 69 brawlers in the game. For now, it's time to do a bunch of quests and open up a ton of star drops. Here's our first star drop of the season. And oh, it's epic. Oh, it's mythic. Oh, oh we've got two more upgrade chances here. Are you kidding me? This is the first legendary that I've gotten on this account. Okay. Just watch it be like, it's going to be a, a stupid gadget that I don't really need. Ugh. <laughs> I literally just said I wasn't going to get any star powers for Hank. And then uh, I got a star power for Hank. You know what? That's 2,000 free gold. I will very happily take that. Okay, we got a rare and it's staying rare. Power points probably. Or some gold. That's nice. Okay, rare, 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 rare. Okay. <laughs> Token doublers. I have so many token doublers. A lot of my rare star drops were token doublers. In fact, I got a mythic one for 1,000, or was it mythic? I don't remember, but needless to say, I don't need token doublers for a while. <laughs> Day 204, first one. Oh, epic. Let's get into me. Loading. Hooray. That was sorry. I'm sorry. That was such a stupid joke. Coins. <laughs> okay, this time we've got a super rare, and that's going to be... Some power points, very nice. And also a rare, which is probably going to be power points as well. Perfect, that sounds great. It's day 205 and this one's going to be a rare with some coins. We've got a super rare right here and that's going to be some power points. And here's our final box for the day. We've got another rare, but that's not all we've got today. We got some coins and today is actually my free jackpot. Okay, this happens once within every 30 days. It's been 28 days since my last one. This one is credits. 50 free credits going towards Sprout. That's really nice to see. Day 206, we got another rare. And more power points. Okay, we've got another rare. Some coins, that one didn't even take loading. And ah, three rares for today, cool. It's day 207, another rare. And 51 coins. Okay, looks like we've got another rare one. More token doublers, I was running out, good. And then we got another rare. And coins. Day 208, we've got another rare. It's been like seven rares in a row now. Oh, we got some bling. That's like the rarest drop you can get from rares. Well, oh, we've got an epic. What's this gonna be? Probably some more coins. Oh, I was right, 200 coins, that's great. Okay, next we've got another rare. With some power points. Okay, day 209, we got another rare. With some power points. Okay, looks like another rare. 
with some more power points. And we got a super rare, which is going to be more coins. I also did complete this enchanted challenge and earned myself a player icon. And my teammate here just got Koala Nita out of a mythic star drop, which is kind of cool. Day 110, another rare. With some power points. Uh, we got a super rare. Ooh, token doublers. I was actually out of token doublers, surprisingly. And another super rare. Cool. Oh, uh, more token <laughs> Okay, well, I didn't need that many token type release. <laughs> With that, I've opened up 24 star drops and it's been a week of progress. I also upgraded Shelly to power nine. I upgraded Crow to power nine. That's not all that's happened this week. We've pretty much solidified ourselves for first place in Masters League once again. That means we're gonna get all these club coins. And you know what? I know that these rewards are a lot worse than they used to be. However, Club League is still one of the best sources of progression in the game right now. Trophy League also ended, so we got some uh, bling from resetting some of our... Uh, Brawlers, minis, heroes. I've been playing too many games recently. <laughs> 132 is not bad. I also unlocked one of the coolest pins in the game. I completed the week-long daily gifts. So I earned myself this really cool star pin, which I think everybody watching this has probably already gotten this, but it's still pretty cool. If you haven't watched the star part games yet, you are absolutely missing out and you need to watch it for two reasons. Not only is it very entertaining, but you can also get a very exclusive pin for free just by watching. I'm not going to spoil who won, but you just claim the reward after watching it. You'll know what to do after you watch it. Go to your inbox and you can redeem your very own exclusive golden crown mortis pin. This is a very special pin for me because like I, I kind of helped design it, right? It was a collaboration with Brawl Stars and the winner of the Star Park game season one. So this is honestly a very special pin for me because it's like directly correlated to my content, which is just so cool. Now, up until today's boxes, I had actually completely run out of token doublers, which is surprising because I've been getting so many of them. And now I'm at 1000 again, but it has actually helped me a lot with climbing up. Look, this is one week of progression in the Brawl Pass. We're already up to rank 28, and that means that today we get to unlock a new brawler. So this is like that satisfying moment. Oh, why did I grab that? I didn't mean to grab that right there. It's okay. PowerPoint is fine. It's fine. But this is like that satisfying moment where we just get to collect all of these resources from my week of hard work that you guys don't see all the hard work, but you do get to get the satisfying moments of me just unlocking all of these things here. <laughs> we got some gold, some more gems. I just said that wrong, but that's fine. Credits, some chroma credits, and some more gold. And that means two things. First of all, this is our gold record ever on the account. 34,656 coins. That's insane. But it also means that we have enough chroma credits for us to unlock another chromatic brawler. Now, I've said this before, my biggest struggle right now in club league or power league or whatever is long ranged heist maps. I have 8-bit, which is good, but he, well, he's really easy to hit from even from a distance away because he's so slow. So I'm going to unlock Belle. I don't know if I'm actually going to upgrade her all the way, but it is nice to have another chromatic brawler under my belt and she would be a fantastic long ranged uh, heist brawler. So we're actually going to upgrade Belle straight up to power 9 and I've actually decided that all of my brawlers that are below 500 trophies are going to get upgraded to power nine. I'm going to get her gadget and 100% I'm going with nest egg here. I don't know that I'm going to get star powers for all of them, but the reason why I'm going for my brawlers under 500 trophies is that these are the brawlers that I'm probably going to be playing the most because my experience of the game since star drops have been introduced is that I need to try and just get wins every day. And that happens on top of completing quests. And the thing is with these quests right here where you can win matches with one of three different brawlers, one of those options will always be one of your lowest trophy brawlers. So by upgrading my brawlers below 500 trophies, I'm pretty much always guaranteed to be able to complete my quest as fast as possible and get those wins, which is going to help me unlock all of my star drops, which I don't have any more today. So Grom is now power. Oh, oh, I don't have power points. Ugh, that's not a problem. You guys know the deal here. We can just buy a bunch of power points from the club league shop. We had 35,000 club coins or something like that. It's just absolutely insane from all of the club league that we've done and I, I'm so glad that we've progressed this account this way. This really is like the fastest possible way you could progress an account. And just like that, we are at max power points. Once again, we still have 1,376 club coins available and we'll be getting additional 495 today, which is great. So now Grom is power nine. I'm gonna grab his radio check gadget. Ra Watchtower is actually really good on certain maps, but this one's probably more consistent for him. I love unlocking new gadgets. <laughs> Squeak is now a power nine. Gus is power nine. Maisie's power nine. Janet's power nine. Oh. We need more power points. <laughs> We're going through these fast. That's completely fine though, because we got some more from Club Coins. Okay, now Janet is power nine. Piper is power nine. And Otis is power nine. Those are all my brawlers below 500 trophies now. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is going to be so much easier to win matches every day. I still have 14,000 gold left and I, I need to save it, even though I'm kind of running low on power points. Honestly, I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to get some legendary star drops and I'll be able to get free star powers out of them. That would save me so many coins for maxing out 
every single brawler in the game. So let's open up more star drops. It's day 211. Another super rare. Is that three in a row? That's three in a row. Five, 300. It's also three token doublers in a row. Okay. Oh, epic. Please tell me it's not token doublers. Uh, you know, I'll take the coins. That's great. And we got another super rare. Let me guess. Token doublers. Credits. I'll take it. It is day 212. I forgot to hit record for a couple boxes, but I got an epic with token doublers and a super rare for power points. And this time I got a rare for... I can't talk. Um, more power points. Day 213. We... Another rare. 68 coins. We got... Oh, a mythic. Okay, okay, okay. It's getting real here. Ah, the loading kills me every time. What is this? Oh. That's a, that's a legit skin. That's like... A really cool skin. I don't think I have one on Barley. Just a sec. Oh, I had Wizard Barley. <laughs> this one's cooler. This one's cooler. In fact, uh, we'll turn on Random Skin, which I never thought I would use on this account. So that's cool. And we've got a rare, of course. I'm still living off of the hype of that epic um, or that mythic Barley drop, though. That was really great. That's a great skin. 50 coins. Okay, I'm gonna shadow realm somebody. <laughs> they are dead, dude. <laughs> I love that. Power cubes just like sprouted from the they ground. Just <laughs> I had a quest for 15, like to, to pick up 15 power cubes while both of us were alive, and we got all 15 in that one match. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's efficiency. Day 214, playing here with Lex. We've got a uh, rare, of course. Power points, I'll take them. We also are playing the duo showdown challenge and we got 50 bling. Oh, and we got some credits, 50 credits, hooray. I got a rare, I okay. got coins, but I also I got, got power I points got for winning the duo showdown match. Okay, for that one, I got, we got a hundred tokens for that one. Oh, and eight chroma credits for the chroma shower. Okay, 200 coins for that win. Okay, what do we get there? 200 coins, I will take the 200 coins. I got a rare. Okay. Power points. Comes down to this. Okay. We got 400 tokens. 400 tokens. That's great. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Freaking three more gems for two more attempts. Okay. So we did some math here and we found out what the cost is for these three gems. The thing is, is this, if we do get these two sprays right here and then this challenge comes back again, then we get massive amounts of coins because each spray both get converted into coins. Now, the reason why I'm hesitant to spend any gems ever is the fact that every single gem or every season you get 90 free gems, which means that eventually you can actually save some of your gems to buy an extra Brawl Pass back to back. We did the math. We found out that that happens in 15 seasons. <laughs> <laughs> all, all that would mean is just we have to wait 16 seasons. So that's so that's two and a half years of saving your gems before you would get a back-to-back -back season, which is just very small. I do think that it is worth it for us to actually spend three right. gems and get two attempts. So, I trust the math. Okay. Oh, your, your, your math. Okay. We are doing I it. I spent the gems. Three, two, one, go. That felt... Wait, like my soul just died inside a little bit because I spend gems on something other than a brawl pass, but it's fine. Okay, Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, Dude, yes, we got it. it. We Go in the middle, win. spin, spin, spin. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait a second. In the Shadow Realm, there could be two Cordeliuses. I took Terra into the Shadow Realm and Cordelius, the, the, the other teammate, was there with us. What? We just discovered this. This is so cool. Okay. That is actually kind of cool. We got the new spray. Congratulations on this new spray and the other spray. That means that this is literally the <laughs> best challenge for us to actually spend gems on because the next time this challenge comes around, we can get both of those converted into coins. I think it's like 300 coins each. So that would be 600 total coins, which is actually insane. Okay, three gems for 600 coins. I'm worth it. Day 215, and I've already got a super rare. Looks like it's staying super rare, and we're getting bling. Okay, we got another super rare. Let's see if we get more bling. Nope, more power points. Very cool. And a third super rare in a row. That's actually kind of crazy. Four, 114 gold. That's cool. Day 216, another rare. Oh, token doublers. Okay, here is another rare. With some more token others, that's like the least common drop that you can get from a rare, I think. I, I should probably double check that. I think that's bling, actually. And then we got a third rare with some more power points. That's more expected. Day 217. Whoa. Oh. Oh, look at this. We got a legendary. Okay. Oh, man. What could this be? Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. What is it? Uh, a... 
Oh, oh, it's a new brawler. <laughs> I forgot I don't have BB. That's funny. At first I was like, wait, it's a skin. And then I was like, it's not a skin. It's a new brawler. That is so funny. Cool, dude, that's awesome. I just saved 960 credits. That's insane. Oh my gosh, what? That's wild. Okay, we're gonna immediately upgrade her to power nine. Oh, I'm out of power points. Okay, I think I might be at that point now where I'm officially out of club coins and I do not have power points, but I'm sitting on 12,000 gold. So do I go to the previous season and I start unlocking some of these? Where it's a new brawler, I think that that's fine. But eventually, I am going to want all these power points to convert to gold. But it's clear that I need to actually start spending some of my gold on, like, star powers. Because I've just gotten them to power 9, and I haven't actually gotten any star powers on, like, all of these power 9 brawlers. None of them have star powers, which is weird, right? But except for Hanks, which I got that one for free. <laughs> for right now, though, I do think that it makes sense for me to unlock some of these power points. Because it's going to take me six months for me to convert these to coins anyway. And where the club coin rewards from the club league actually got nerfed, we're not going to be seeing as much resources from it anyway so we got this we also got this and we got this oh we need one more okay perfect okay so bb is now officially power nine that is fantastic we got another brawler that i love these brand new brawlers that are like so low in trophies but are power nine because it makes it super easy for me to just get some quick and easy wins when i don't have time to like really play right because they're pretty much guaranteed wins i actually don't know which gadget is better for her ever since her extra sticky gadget came out three extra seconds of slow is actually really good you know what since I've played so much with this on my main account. I'm going to do it. I don't know which one's better, but we're going to go for it. Today, we also got, oh, an epic. Wow, a legendary, then an epic. That's like a cool combo. That's great. And it's some power points. 105 power points. Ooh, those could have come in handy just a little bit ago. <laughs> okay, last box for the day. Another epic. Today is a great day for star drops. Let's see what we get here. And more power points. Okay, we're replenishing my supply. That shouldn't have opened up those rewards in the Brawl Pass, apparently. We do still have plenty of power points from tier 26 all the way up, like, through the end. That's gonna take so long, but I don't know. It's weird. But it's been another week since I've really given a status update. We can go ahead and claim some of these rewards, some coins, some chroma credits, some regular credits. Oh, man, this is actually really nice. The gold is going to come in clutch. How much closer am I going to be to getting Sprout? I don't think it's actually that close. We still have a ways to go, actually. And, and that is such a cool profile icon. Like, it's too bad that this is not the Brawl Pass I'm going to be able to get for free. Because Cordelius is insanely strong, too. But it's fine. We also did pass 2100, 21,000 trophies, which is really cool. I mean, I upgraded El Primo to Power 9 for uh, quests. And I got Crow Mastery Rank 2, which is awesome. More power points. <laughs> I don't know why I unlocked all those power points. I'm regretting my decisions. Hopefully we get a lot more power points over this next week of boxes. Now, I've been away from home for the past few days, but I will show you my drops, including a sprout spray and a loose spray that I got. Also, I checked the rates on the token doublers from rare star drops because I thought it was super rare, but it's actually 20%. So I was completely wrong when I said that it's an uncommon drop. It's actually very common. Now I mentioned that I'm not getting as many power points as I'd like, but then again, I'm also not getting as many legendary star drops as I would like. I'm actually on rate for them though. It's so it's no big deal. I'm just, you know, kind of, you know, getting some legendary star drops would be really nice here. It's day 221 and, oh, epic. Okay, okay. A big fat stack of coins. I will take it. I like coins. Okay, we got another rare. <laughs> and more token doublers. What did I say about these? <laughs> okay, now there is something really nice about having the token doublers, and that is the fact that when there's a coin shower event right here, all of my tokens get doubled, and then all of them get converted into coins, which is actually pretty sick. Like 310 coins, that's fantastic. And if you have 200 daily battle tokens and those get doubled to 400 coins, which is like, like that's really good. It is weird that as a free to play player, I have more tokens than I can even burn through, but you know what? It turns out pretty great, especially with coin showers and chroma showers, those are the best. Okay, let's see here, we also have another rare. That's some more power points, thank you very much. And also, we're doing the Brawl Ball, the Golden Brawl Ball Challenge, so I got some, you know, 50 credits, that's great. Victory number two is 50 bling. We got 50 power points here. 50, what's up with the 50s? Okay, win number four was 50 coins. There's gotta be something here with this. I don't know, I'm missing something. Okay, 50 credits again, really, okay. Okay, win six is 100 coins. I don't know what the 50 was about, but we're here. Win seven was 100 credits. Very nice to see that double act. That's actually really great. Okay, win eight, 200 coins, and we won the challenge, which means we get the Golden Brawl Ball player icon. That's actually really cool. I don't think that it's enough to swap off of my Oni Otis mask, but you know, that's really legit. I like it. I'll take it. Stay 222 and we got another rare with some power points. We also got another rare. 
with more token doublers, of course. And three rares in a day. You know, that's not too bad. Plus, more power points. Love those. I had to go out of town again, but I am determined to show you 100 free star drops in this video. So once again, I'll show you my drops. I only got rares and super rares in the past few days, but I was happy to get two super rares with bling in them. There's actually only a 3% chance that you'll get bling from a super rare drop. So the fact that I got it twice in two days isn't like crazy rare, but it's kind of interesting. Although there is a 2.6 chance of getting credits from super rare star drops, and I would much rather have those. Today is 220, day 226. We got a star drop. We got power points from an, a super rare star drop. I'll, ooh, epic chest, okay. Okay, that was so good up, <laughs> And of course, uh, another super rare with <laughs> more token doublers. That is a total of 69 star drops in this video so far. We've gained a few trophies, not like anything super nice, but we got 40 power points, so that's cool. The rewards from the trophy road have significantly decreased for a while, so it's not like anything really exciting. But we do have a ton of rewards to get from the Brawl Pass right here. So we'll grab some gold, some chroma credits, some more gold, more credits. We're getting kind of close to Sprout. We're not like gonna get it anytime soon, but it's nice to be getting a little bit closer. As you can see right there, there's our last little bit of rewards. We're, you know, I can get another Chromatic Brawler? How am I getting Chromatic Brawlers so frequently? When was the last time I got one? It was 16 days ago. 16 days? That was in this video. We got Bell. It must have been the Chroma Shower paired with all of the token doublers because, oh wow, I've got a lot of token doublers because I should not be getting Chromatic Brawlers this quickly. That's awesome. I literally have not even considered what my next Chromatic Brawler is going to be. Honestly, it's kind of between Ruffs, Ash, Eve, Sam, and RT. All of them are actually really good right now. And you know what? I I like Eve. Eve is actually one of my favorite brawlers to play. I don't know what it is about her. I really like her a lot. But I've barely been able to play RT because he was released after I started this season, which means that I, I don't play him on my main account. I'm only playing my free-to-play series. So I'm gonna get RT because I haven't really played him very much. So this is I'm excited about this. This was so unexpected. With RT unlocked, I'm gonna need some more power points. So I'm gonna spend all my club coins on doing that so that I can actually upgrade him. And you know what? Even though club coins have been nerfed for club league you still get quite a lot and like this is actually really solid this is going to be really nice i just bought like 1500 power points or something like that that is going to be enough to upgrade him to power nine as a brand new brawler on the account which is going to be really helpful and we're going to buy one of his gadgets this one is awful and this one is actually pretty good it's like a no-brainer right now so we're gonna grab hacks and i could go with the star power but i'm just not gonna worry about it right now i've actually really been enjoying having these low power nine brawlers with a gadget on each of them because it's really easy to gain wins and getting wins is really important for these star drops So like I'm not honestly pushing my brawlers hardly at all because I just like the easy progression every day It used to be a goal of mine to have every brawler over 500 trophies I don't know if that's a, a goal of mine at the moment any longer It will probably be long term, but I like the easy progression every day. It's day 227. We got an epic here and more power points. I love power points. This is great. We also got a, two epics in a row. That's cool. And lots of gold. I love the resources. Okay, now can we get three epics in a row? Oh my, that was not planned. <laughs> I mean, I hoped that it would happen, but you know. More coins, love it. I can't believe we got three epics in a row. That's crazy. Day 228, can we keep the epics going? No, we cannot. But I will take the coins. Okay, we got a back to back. Oh. Epics! You know what? I just took a break for that one rare box. We're, we're keeping the epic stream streak going. 217 coins and... No, okay. It's not. It's not alive. Power points. Day 229. We got a super rare with some coins. Next is another super rare with more power points. I didn't have to load that time. And another rare with token, token doublers, man. They're the best. Today is also the day that I completed the season pass. Okay, look at this. 43 days remain, and I already have a bonus reward. That's actually insane. It's all those token doublers, of course. I'm actually really curious to see how many bonus rewards we get, even if the bonus rewards aren't that exciting. Like, I want to rack them up. Can we get over 100? I, I, I think we'll be able to this season. For now, though, let's go ahead and collect these. We've actually got tons of gold. Look at that. 2,000 coins right there, and we're actually getting really close to Sprout. And by really close, I'd only have to get 56 of these bonus rewards at five credits each. But you know, in fact, we might be able to get some from Championship Challenge and some stuff like this. Maybe even a Mastery Reward or two. That would actually get me there, but I'm not in a rush. So let's get back to opening star drops. It's day 230, super rare. Token doublers. We got a rare with power points and super rare with some more power points. Day 231, we got a rare box, star drop, with some power points. And we got another rare box, drop, drop, they're called, they're called, 
Wisdom power token doubler. I can't say anything right. <laughs> the star drops and these are token doublers. And a super rare star drop with coins. It is day 232. 232 is a good day. Mythic. Okay. You know, a fat stack of power points. I love it. We got another rare with some coins. And we've got an epic. Today has been a good day for star drops. Love the coins. It is day 233. We got a soup. Oh, an epic with some power points. I also got this player icon from some quests. Oh, another epic. Okay. With some coins. Cool. If you're curious as to why I'm soaking wet, it's because I went on a walk with Lady Kairos for two minutes and it rained on us vehemently. And we got a rare with 51 coins. Very cool. I had to shower and redo my hair. Also, I have to do something else that is kind of painful for me, okay? I'm getting super close to Sprout. I like Sprout. Doug, on the other hand, I don't like playing. He's very weak at the moment of me recording this, but I am going to switch him. I confirmed that as a mythic brawler, Doug will give me a 1000 token quest, which means that I do have to swap. So I'm swapping all of my credits. They are transferring over to Doug and I'm gonna have to save Sprout for another time, which is really sad and unfortunate. But the goal here is to max up my account as fast as possible. And that 1000 tokens will give me two bonus rewards, which really isn't worth it. Who knows though, he might end up getting a buff and be just awesome. One thing that is for sure awesome is that today I've got my jackpot daily freebie, 50 chroma credits. It has been 28 days since my last one and uh, that's right in line with what Supercell told us we'd get them for. Day 234, we got a rare with some coins. We also got another rare with more token doublers. Day 235, we got another rare with some power points. And we got another rare with some coins. And we got, oh, oh, epic. I, I thought it was gonna be six rares in a row, but we got an epic here. And it's power points, very nice. I also completed the Summer Games Challenge, which is very cool for one particular reason. And I'm not talking about this pin. With all challenges, you got some nice resources, but most important for me right now, at least, is this 50 credits right here. I also got 75 credits from Poco's Mastery and from B's Mastery, which conveniently is enough for me to unlock Doug. Probably the worst baller in the game right now. Let's go, he is unlocked, and now we're going to work on Sprout. <laughs> Sprout, I'm so sorry, it's been so long. Sprout's probably wondering if it's Ever gonna get unlocked. I'm not buying this skin. Sorry, Supercell. Now the truth is going to be revealed here. Quests. Yes, win 15 battles with Doug, get 1,000 tokens. It's all worth it. I mean, maybe not, but that's why I'm doing this at least. <laughs> so now we're going to upgrade Doug to power nine, just so he's a little bit easier to push. And rather than getting double heals, I'm gonna get the extra mustard, which does double the damage for his gadget. I think that's the better one right now, or at least I used it a lot more when I was testing it out on my main account. And we're just gonna wait for his star power. I don't know if I wanna invest too much into Doug. For now, we open up more boxes because we're getting super close to that 100th star drop. Day two. 36, there's another rare with some token doublers. We also have another rare with some coins. And this right here is my 99th box or star drop. We got a super rare and it is a super rare and it's going to be some power points. Very nice. And here is my 100th star drop in this video. And it's, of course, thought this might happen. A rare star drop with power points in it, okay. We also got a rare star drop with more power points in it and another rare with 22 credits. Oh, that's actually only a 2% chance of happening from a rare. Well, there you have it, 100 star drops in a single video that I had to grind for every single day for 34 days. Obviously not that big of a deal because I've been doing it for 237 days now. I'm still playing the map maker three times every single day so I don't miss out on any of my tokens. I'm pretty much always playing brawlers that I have a specific quest for. And I gotta say, I'm really glad that I decided to upgrade my brawlers to power nine instead of power seven. I still have a lot of them at power seven and I'm sitting on 15,000 coins with only 444 power points. And I keep on getting more club coins which I can spend on even more power points as I need them. And I know a lot of people might suggest I buy star powers for all of these brawlers that don't have star powers, but I actually think I'm gonna hang on to my gold and upgrade brawlers as I see fit. I'm kind of at this point now where I have a lot of options, even in power league or club league when I'm playing my brawlers, I've got a solid set of competitive options. And the fact that club league doesn't produce as many club coins every single week now means that it's a little bit less important for me to have like the most competitive options all the time. Hence why I unlocked Doug, even though he's one of the worst brawlers in the game. <laughs> all for 1000 tokens, which is gonna equate to just two of these measly bonus rewards. And I'm sitting at 21,677 trophies, which is actually going to reset in 16 hours. I've got 46 out of the 70 brawlers in the game, and we did get a new brawler, BB, from a star drop in this video, which is pretty cool. But it looks like we're not gonna be able to unlock a new chromatic or a regular brawler for a long time now. Honestly, star drops have been pretty
pretty fun on the account. I still don't know how I feel about the resource allocation, but I'm happy with them. But I want to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe for the next free to play episode if it's not already out. And if it is already out, it will be available to watch right here. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by. We will see you in the next episode.